business. So let's hear from them and let's give them a big welcome. Hello, Stephen and Ariana. How are you guys? doing? How are you? Doing well, thanks. How are you? Well, thank I'm you. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Thank you so much. We are uh, getting closer towards the you know end of our event, uh, but we still got some great speakers like you uh, to go with. So let's you know let's go ahead and you know uh, tell us the world and the young people you know the great opportunities you have there so good luck ariane do you want to go first and give us a little summary redemption roasters of course sure so redemption roasters we are a london-based specialty coffee company with the mission to reduce recidivism and unemployment rates uh, for ex-offenders or youth at risk of crime we approach this by twofold. We train both in prisons. We've trained across 11 prisons to date. Uh, we work uh, pretty exclusively within the coffee hospitality. So we train on um, anything from barista training to roasting to uh, machine maintenance and kind of espresso machine engineering. Uh, we also run a accelerated barista training course in East London and Hackney, which we work with the Forward Trust called our Espresso Futures course. Uh, and that is available to anyone between uh, 16 and 24 to um, basically run a week long high intensity barista training and post, spent, post the week we offer our entire employment support services, including brokering employment either with us at one of our own. Uh, we have seven coffee shops in London, or we have quite a big network of wholesale customers that we uh, work with to secure employment uh, for. Um, to date, we've seen 85% of our learners all pass with distinction, and 36 of those have been supported into um, sustainable employment. Um, currently, Redemption is the largest employer of our own graduates, um, but that uh, could be changing the coffee industry is obviously such a massive um, industry at the moment um, and continues to grow. It's worth 88 billion dollar, uh, pounds um, and uh, the baristas represent 8% of all the hospitality workers. So there's a huge market there. You don't need a lot of um, background and training to become a barista. It's an entry-level job, and it can be that crucial link between prison and resettling back in the community. So that's kind of what we are here for. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so that's the thanks, Andrea. First of all, thanks Red Kite for inviting uh, us both, the Forward Trust and Redemption Roasters onto this platform. I always love these opportunities to share what we do in a professional capacity to young people, just to encourage them and give them some foresight into uh, professional avenues which they can consider. A bit about myself, uh, my name, as it says, Stephen Anderson. I'm an enterprise coach with the Forward Trust. Just in a sort of nutshell, the Forward Trust is a national charity that supports ex-offenders and people in recovery from uh, drugs uh, situations. And really, uh, the, the charity itself does some sterling work nationally up and down the country. Uh, but my focus is in enterprise support everything to do with business development and enterprise support. It is quite a passion of mine. And I've been with the Forward Trust now for about two years. And my priorities is really to meet up with clients to, if they are considering going down the route of self-employment or starting up a business. In the short time that we've got allotted to us, I've done some brainstorming and really looking at the pros and cons of becoming self-employed and starting up your own business. So some of the things, some of the pros that young people need to consider when they're choosing this route. The pros are feel the, 
there's a good feeling of being your own boss and taking control of your own future. There is a, a pro too of managing your time and managing yourself. There is a degree of freedom and a degree of control that you have in terms of managing and developing your, your business idea and your self-development. In terms of the pros of going self-employed and starting a business, there are some financial benefits too in terms of tax advantages. And in summary too, I would say another one of the pros is, is you know, you're passionate about something that you're carrying forward. So that is always a pro in life. But as with pros, there are always cons and I, I don't feel I would give it justice if I didn't highlight some of the the, the cons and some of the negativities that you've got to keep in mind if you're choosing this route. Some of the, the cons could be job security. You know, if you're choosing to go down this route too, some of the opportunities may be limited to you. So you've got to keep that in mind. There could be limited perks that a company can offer you that you kind of offer yourself when you're starting up, whether that's holiday or sickness pay or bonuses, something to keep in mind. Those things can come along as you develop, but you have to be aware that they're not automatically there when you start. Some of the cons to it is long hours. Please do not be under the illusion that, you know, it's right, I get up and I want, I do what I want. You're gonna have to invest a lot of time into developing your business. And, you know, that is always at the start of establishing your, your business. So something to keep in mind there too, there's always a, a golden rainbow at the end, but you have to invest a lot of time and work into that. So it's, it's not all roses. I have brainstormed some things here that uh, I actually wrote this yesterday evening, actually, that I'd share with you. If you're choosing to start your own business or become self-employed, something to keep in mind, be proactive and disciplined in working on your business idea. Be committed to doing positive activity on a daily basis. Learn about the business startup process. There's a lot of information online. There's a lot of books. Uh, there is so much information online about learning the process of starting up your business. I would also encourage young people to, to read and study entrepreneurs. If there's uh, an entrepreneur that takes your interest, whether it's Elon Musk, whether it's Oprah Winfrey, whether it's Bill Gates or uh, whoever it is, read up on them, study them, you know, buy their books, Google them, learn as much as you can about the journey that they've taken. Keep positive in body and mind. I'm always of the capacity of a healthy body and a positive mindset clears the avenue for you when you're choosing to develop your own business. Develop skills in knowledge gaps that you may not understand. So read up on specific topics like marketing, uh, advertising, cash flow, uh, understanding e-commerce. And by the way, talking about e-commerce, one thing which we do at the Forward Trust in the enterprise department is that we run a series of masterclasses and we've got one next Tuesday looking at how people can effectively use social media in promoting their business. We just had one on e-commerce and all of these will be on our, our YouTube platform too. So if you search uh, Forward Trust YouTube, you'll see some of the masterclasses that we do. And we've got other masterclasses that we're coming. And this is all to upskill people in knowledge gaps they may not have in terms of developing their business idea. Just a couple more other things. Commit to taking ownership of your idea. You will get advice 
as an enterprise coach, I give advice to my clients. But what I try to instill in people is taking ownership of their own business journey. Now, there is a motto, if it is to be, it is up to me. Remember to take ownership of your, your journey and the road which you're going to go down. Read too about failures and how people have bounced back from certain situations in their entrepreneurial journey. It's so, it's so important to invest time in studying how people have done things and then applying those things to your own uh, business development road. Uh, be positive, be proactive, but learn about the process of starting up a business. I hope this has given you some food for thought. Uh, feel free to uh, I'll make sure Red Kite have got my uh, contact details at the Forward Trust, my email, if people want to email me for advice or guidance or just to point in the right direction. I'm always open for that. Okay. All right, Baz. I hope I'm watching the time here, Baz. I hope I haven't gone over the time. No, absolutely no. You, you, it was so powerful, motivating advices and great stuff. Um, uh, you know, Stephen and Ariana, it was brilliant to have you guys here. And I've got some great feedback uh, on your session to share with you, which I'm sure is going to put a greater smile and lovely smile on your face. Um, Fihi has said that's such good advice about post. Oh, sorry. The, uh, that was a previous one. Joe, she has had great positive outcomes. It's important that we have to support individuals to change their lives and improve our community. So thank you so much. Sophie has said Redemption Roaster sounds amazing. And Halima has said such powerful and motivating advice. Asi has said great work by Stephen, our amazing enterprise coach and our friends at Redemption Roaster. So I think, he, you know, uh, this is your colleague. <laughs> That's, that, that's actually my boss. So yeah. Oh, it's praises, singing. You know, your your boss is singing praises. What you know, hey, nothing. Hey. And that is it. <laughs> 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 Lovely. So, um, tell me, you know, um, how the COVID has impacted this this whole thing, especially the hospitality sector, because I think that's the biggest sector which has been impacted badly uh, by the pandemic. So. What do you think? How it's gonna work out? I mean, you know, are you going to see some uh, positive positivity soon? Mm. Yeah, I think um, for coffee specifically, it's been one of the. I mean, it's been impacted, but at the moment, you know, it is the only kind of thing everyone can do is to go get a coffee. Um, so it has impacted how we operate as far as sitting down and enjoying coffee at, in a cafe, but. Um, We've seen that it's affected everyone a little bit differently depending on their setup originally, and it feels like at the moment there's quite a lot to a lot of build up for um, the warmer weather, for takeout, for some. It feels like we haven't lost momentum in the coffee world. Um, so we'll see. Like we're expanding, we've added two new shops since COVID. It feels like there's oh, some. Oh wow! That. <laughs> oh well done! Congratulations. Yeah. That's great news. Yeah. yeah. Just, just the word, sorry, just the word, Baz. I mean, when Please. people are considering the, the impact of COVID, do, do not let that stop them from mm. giving their idea. It should actually be quite a, a drive because we're going to come out of this and we're going to come out Ooh. a lot stronger. It's important that people position themselves and upskill themselves and be ready to jump in to the opportunities that will come, but use the opportunity to develop the mindset, knowledge gaps, and you know, really research their markets that they're gonna go into. So there is opportunity in, in this situation. Ah, oh, great. Absolutely. I, oh, I agree with you, Stephen. Uh, I, I can see you're a person who sees opportunity in every single thing. And I think mm -hmm. that's all should be. Um, and um, I agree with you, you know, uh, this pandemic has been hard on us, but it has so much. Uh, I mean, this event is one of the biggest examples for us, you know, um, 
doing live, doing, you know, uh, an event like this on such big platform, um, we wouldn't have been able to do it. But the pandemic, you know, made us, uh, you know, think differently, you know, try to do things differently. And we are learning a great deal of uh, stuff because of that. So you're right. There is an opportunity. It's only you need to have a you know right mindset. Thank you so much for your great advice, Stephen Ariana. Lovely to you know, have you with us. And I'm sure we will get in touch again and, you know, hope to get a chance to work on some amazing projects with you guys. Have a oh, really definitely. And take care. Okay, thank you. No problem. Take care. Lovely. Ah, so we are getting closer and closer. Um, now, 